surface of the burrow is covered in these incredible, incredible features that are all really carved by the relentless rain that we have here. And they're all very beautiful in their own way for their textures and their shapes and their forms. Limestone is alkaline and rainwater is acidic. So when this rain lands on the limestone, it will slowly but surely eat away at the rock. And you end up with all the features that you see uh, everywhere around us. Look at this incredible, barren, hostile landscape. You could be on Mars, you could be on the moon. How can anything possibly grow here? When you get to the Grikes, which are these incredible vertical cracks which run all the way uh, through the burn, uh, it's a very, very different story because the Grikes go down a long, long way. And if plants can get a hold anywhere in these, they will be completely protected. You'd have to imagine that 330, 340 million years ago, this entire place was full of corals like this. So what we're standing on now would have been like, like the Great Barrier Reef or like the Caribbean, just a, a massive coral forest. It's a, a maze of waterways that flow for in some cases, tens of kilometers underneath the surface. Some of them are smaller, some of them seem to be around for maybe hundreds of thousands of years. So there's a lot of it is, is still a mystery. Some of them have been explored. The vast majority, it's, a, it's an unknown world. And literally, nobody would have ever set foot in them. Nobody would have ever clapped eyes on what's down there. So for these few people that do spend their time exploring it, they're really, they're, they're looking at things that Ah, most probably no human has ever seen before. These creatures, as they died, the hard parts of their body, their shells and their skeletons, they drifted down to the bottom of the sea floor. And over a period of about 40 million years, you had an accumulation of these shells and skeletal parts. Over time, these compress and it ends up forming limestone. And when the wind blows up there, you Christ like, you know, does the wind blow up there? There's <laughs> the harshness about it. <laughs> they do your chores up there to help the cattle to keep the walls built up. It does rattle you like, you know. And at the same time, it's wonderful when you're out in the elements. part of their ancestral song like the symphony of life that we were born into. That's who we are and that's what we do and that's it like, you know.